Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, let's see. The first card is um, the dog card. So you have got somebody around you. Maybe you're seeking companionship or there's somebody around you that's very, very loyal, uh, very, very faithful to you or you know helps you get through a uh, thing. Somebody that you can actually depend on and somebody that's giving you some advice and guidance on how to get through a difficult situation. You've got the fortune teller cards. So you might have been consulting, um, you know, a, a tarot reader or getting, um, you know, some kind of psychic input into the situation. So somebody's giving you some advice around you uh, that is very, very intuitive. It could also be you trusting your intuition to do things. Now, you've got the insects card over here. So it looks like there is going to be some kind of success and prosperity coming your way. And it's going to come in, you know, in like almost like a swarm. So a lot of it coming in at one time. Uh, and uh, this is to either to do with money or business or success, um, you know, or even success in a love relationship. But something coming in, you know, in a lot uh, at, at one time. So it's, it's, it's a lot of abundance coming in, uh, maybe all of a sudden as well unexpectedly. So you've got the sculptor card over here. So you've been working pretty hard uh, trying to get things done. Uh, you've been, you know, being very, very hard at work over here. You can see this man's, you know, using a hammer and chisel to get to this um, uh, particular tree trunk. Um, um, he's trying to mold the tree trunk or he's trying to carve the tree trunk. So you've been working very, very hard and been very, very focused. Uh, you know, you've been putting a lot of effort into whatever you've been doing. You've got the nudity card over here. So you've been using a lot of creativity in your work as well, doing things from a very, very different, in a very, very different way, um, you know, a new, a novel way. Uh, you know, you're, you're bringing these new changes into whatever work you're doing. Now, going to the future, you've got the jewelry card over here. And, uh, you know, this is about, uh, you know, try not to overspend. This is about spending things, uh, spending money on frivolous things. So you need to watch your finances and keep a tight rein on your spending. So don't buy unnecessary jewelry, in other words. And you've got a benefactor card over here. So if you are, you know, um, there's somebody around you, where you know, wherever you're working, who um, admires whatever you're doing and it looks like you know somebody's taking interest in you and maybe somebody wanting to take you under their wing or you know give you that assistance or help or guidance um you know and um help you along your journey so you're getting recognition for whatever you've been doing and there's somebody over there that is um you know is taking a, a shine to you taking an interest in whatever you're doing so those are the energies for that week So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Gay Tarot, and this is for the, uh, the main read. I have put the deck in the description box, and I have shuffled the deck. Okay, so you've got the Ten of Swords. So you are definitely pulling the plug on whatever that relationship is or whatever that problem was. It looks like there's a legal ending to that particular problem or situa situation. So you might have gone through a divorce and you're cutting ties with this person completely. The energy is, you're not putting in more energy into that situation anymore. You've pulled the plug on it and you're going to be moving on. So you may feel like you were utterly defeated in that particular situation uh, and maybe there was a lot of lies, betrayal and problems that came out uh, with dealing with that person, but you are now, uh, the energy is now that you are to cut it out completely and move on. So you are severing ties, ending things completely. Now, what's happening with you? You've got the Hermit card over here and the Youth of Swords. So uh, with the Hermit card, it's about be being very, very focused on your work and, you know, being very, very objective in what you're doing, analytical, uh, putting all your efforts and energies into that particular project. Also seeing things from a very, very different perspective. There might be some travel as well involved over here because you've got the world as well. But you are seeing things. You're seeing the bigger picture now. Now, you are waiting for some kind of legal news to come in with the Youth of Swords. It's about legalities and waiting for some kind of legal outcome. Uh, you know, with this Ten of Swords, it's, you know, there might have been some kind of legal ending. And you're waiting for news for that as well. Or you will be receiving news of that legal outcome as well. Now, with this uh, Youth of Swords in this particular deck, it's also about being very, very focused on that work. Uh, focused on communication, uh, being very strategic, uh, being very, very uh, logical, that work that you're doing. And, you know, 
you can see there's a lot of communication that is going on uh, or going out from you. So you are dealing with a lot of people. And this is on a work on the work basis. Uh, on the legal basis, you're waiting for news to come in or that news will come in for you. Uh, but you're definitely ending an old situation and starting off brand new again. Now, you've got the seven of wands over here. So you have had to, uh, you know, there has been a lot of problems that you've been dealing with. It's not just one issue it's been lots of issues because you've got this wind coming in and blowing it's the seven of wands standing up for yourself but having to deal with so many different problems there might be some paperwork or some some legal issues that you were dealing with as well and things have been very very chaotic uh, and you've had to stand your ground it's you know it's almost something that's knocked you out uh, you there, there's been a lot of um you know, it looks like there's been a lot of crying and tears as well so you've been very very upset there's a lot of water on the floor over here almost crying over spilt milk, you know, they, they like using the same, uh, but you've been crying over things as well. So something has really, uh, you know, had you having to really stand your ground and really fight against a lot of competition or a lot of people's opinions or a lot of problems. You've been dealing with a very, very difficult situation, but you've now laid it all to rest. So the death card, a complete ending to a situation and you are now uh, you know, you laid flowers, so you're ready to give it up and move on. So um, this is the end of it. Uh, this is the finishing touches of that particular issue that you dealt with, and now you are moving on. And you can see with the 10 as well, this is also the card of being completely almost defeated by that situation and having to just give it all up and move on. Now, you want victory in the situation. You've got the Guide of Swords over here. So this is about you coming up with a new plan, a new strategy for victory and taking new information. There might be some kind of legal information that you get that gives you the edge and allows you to win that particular victory. So you have something uh, that you can wield in that person or, or that situation's face and get uh, you know, a victory out of it. So it looks like you have an edge. You've got the strength card over here, and this is taking control of that situation and taking control of anything. So you've come through a lot, and you can jump through any hoop, it seems. So there's still some drama that you are dealing with at the moment, but you will be able to sort it out because you have that strength card. You are going to be victorious. The nine of coins, financial independence coming to you. So all that you have worked uh, for is going to now start presenting itself to you. So you are going to be reaping the benefits of working all that hard work that you put in. It looks like you're very independent now. You're taking care of your own business, take, taking care of your own financial um, uh, problems or your own financial uh, situation. Uh, I wouldn't say problems because it looks like money is coming in. Uh, you're working independently. You're getting uh, recognition. And it looks like you're sorting through all your finances. You're, you're on top of things at the moment. And abundance is coming in there with that nine of coins. You've got the man of cups over here. So there might be an offer coming in, maybe somebody coming in to give you a help to put out the flames, really, to sort things out, to calm the situation. You know, if you're still going through a lot of problems and battles, you might need to go and seek some advice or seek some kind of um, support. With the man of cups, it's like, Man of Cups is like the King of Cups, so it's getting that, um, you know, support. It might even be seeking some medical um, counseling, something to put out the flames, to, to get yourself into perspective. So there's been a lot of drama. There's been a crisis, but there, it looks like there's a rescue. There's somebody that's going to come in and help you get through uh, the flames or the, 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 the difficult situation. It's almost as though the strength card, you have the strength card of here, and then this Man of Cups comes in to put out the flames around the, the hoop. So somebody coming to give you a hand, this could be a new relationship coming in, something bringing in more stability in your life. You've been facing a lot of problems and a lot of difficult people. Uh, maybe you've been dealing with a lot of competition as well and nasty people saying a lot of nasty things. And maybe you have this person who's the king of cups who's going to be the person that rescues you from this kind of difficult situation. Um, but, you know, you don't want to really get back into it. You've got that five of wands sitting in your um, hopes and fears. So you are worried, uh, you know, that you won't be able to deal with that, those difficult people or that difficult situation. Now, going into the future, you've got the self-hatred card, the, uh, which is the devil card. It's the seven of cups over here and the five of coins. Now, uh, this, these two, it's almost the same. Uh, you know, you, you're dealing with very negative uh, issues. So you, it looks like you may have had a family situation. You may have gone through a divorce. Uh, you've got this uh, a man looking at this house and this home and this family situation. And it's the devil card. So there might have been a, a divorce situation, a uh, an issue with a family or that you had to deal with that where they, you had to leave um, that situation and walk away from it. 
and you know you are feeling very very negative very angry very uh upset about whatever happened maybe you have no more power you feel very disempowered because of whatever happened within that situation maybe you weren't able to speak your truth or say what you wanted to say and you know they took advantage of you whatever that situation was uh you know you need to leave it behind and walk away from it you are feeling a loss there was some kind of loss that came off so whatever that old situation was, uh, you know, you feel as though you've been left out in the cold. Maybe they have cut you out of their lives and let you, uh, left you alone to fend for yourself. And you, there are people that will help you. So whatever that impediment that you are going through, whatever those problems are that you're going through, there, there, is, there are people that are going to help you, that are willing to invest their time in helping you out. So you're not alone, even though you might feel very neglected, very alone, uh, very abandoned at this particular moment. Now there's a lot of options coming in for you, so there are going to be a lot of choices, and it's going to allow you to move forward. You see this man's got the skateboard over here. So you need to pick something and start focusing on, on it and seeing the positive side of it. You've got this light coming in. So this these options are being given to you from divine uh, you know from above really so uh, there are going to be things that come into your um, arena that's going to allow you to move away from any kind of difficult situations and there is help coming in as well so you know try not to be very negative about things you know this also could be that you're dealing with a um, Capricorn person I would say with the devil card so that kind of energy coming in maybe that was the person that was involved um, but you have new options coming in and there is new support coming in for you as well so you are getting over things you will be focusing on your work and it looks like you're ending the situation and financial independence is, is coming in independence and you know uh, a greater sense of self coming in for you there so i'm just going to draw some cards from the angel tarot and you've got the hermit card over here which says spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery so you are going to be spending some time by yourself focusing on yourself focusing on your work and maybe even focusing on study with the hermit card and also getting a lot of re revelations a lot of clarity coming in uh with this hermit card you've got the emperor card and this is your card and this is organization and logic structure and discipline and leadership so it's a card ruled by archangel michael you might be waiting for some kind of legal news coming in and it looks like it will go in your favor you've got that youth of youth swords over there that waiting for that particular news you've got the hermit card as well below it. I didn't see that. Uh, so you've got the Hermit card, you know, so you're looking at things from a different perspective and also, you know, um, focusing a lot on that work. And that Emperor card is you taking control back again. You need to be organized and logical about what you do and put some structure and discipline into your work as well. You've got the Four of Cups over here or the Four of Water over here. So there's an opportunity that's going to present itself. Do not miss this opportunity. It is something important. It's going to open the doorway and allow you to have celebration afterwards. And so open your eyes to all the possibilities. So if anything comes your way, consider it. It might be a new relationship coming in, a new friendship. It could be an offer to do further study or it could be a job offer that comes in. But whatever that opportunity is, don't miss it because it's going to bring big change and a lot of happiness into your life uh, and move you away from all all this, uh, you know, the structure where you're not quite sure what you're up to or, or you're feeling, uh, you know, a bit isolated and a bit miserable. It looks like the four of water is going to come in and bring in, uh, you know, new friendships uh, or celebration or, you know, bring in new relationships. And you need that to recover from whatever the problems is that you've been through. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.